In today's lecture, we are going to learn about the valuation of zero coupon bond. So let's first of all talk about the features of zero coupon bond. So the first feature as the name suggests zero coupon. That means coupon rate is 0% which means that no interest rate is given on such kind of bonds. The investor is not entitled to receive any interest on such bonds. Second feature says that bonds are sold at a discount which means whenever the investor is going to purchase such kinds of bonds the sale value will always be less than the face value. That means if suppose the face value of a bond is rupees 1000 so the bond will be sold at maybe 900, maybe 800, maybe 500, maybe 400 so the value will be less than rupees 1000 that, that is your face value. And the third is it says that the amount is paid at the time of maturity that means whatever will be your face value that will be paid at the time of maturity. If you have purchased a zero coupon bond of let's say 10 years with a face value of rupees 1000. So that means starting from the year 1 till year 10 you are not going to get any amount of interest. You will only get rupees 1000 on the end of 10th year. So that means at the time of maturity you will get only rupees 1000. So let's understand with the help of a number line. So over here the number line represents your at the end of year 1, at the end of year 2, 3 and so on till your date of maturity. As we have already learned in the previous lecture that at the end of year 1 the investor receives interest, at the end of year 2 investor receives interest or if the interest is being given semi-annually then one will represent Period 1 period will be considered for 6 months, 2 will represent period, 2nd period that means the next 6 months. So interest is given accordingly. But now in this case since it's a 0 coupon bond, so over here my I will be 0. Over here I can say I am not going to get any interest, so it's 0 interest will be given. Similarly at the end of year 2 I am also getting 0 interest. At the end of year 3 also 0, at the end of year 4. So all the years I am going to get 0 interest at the end of last year. That means at the time of maturity I am going to get 0 interest plus the face value. Whatever will be the face value of the bond I am going to get that amount. So as we have already done at the end of year 1 0 all the interest will be 0 but at the end of nth year that means at the time of maturity you will get the maturity value that will be your face value. So as we have already learned in the previous lectures only said that this is forming your annuity ordinary annuity. So as we have learned the equation will be if you are going to calculate the present value of bond it will be 0 divided by 1 plus r 0 divided by 1 plus r raised to power 2 till 0 divided by 1 plus r raised to power n. And lastly, you are going to get maturity value divided by 1 plus r raised to power n. Where your PVB will be present value of bond, I will be your interest rate, r will be your rate of return or cost of bonds, n will be your number of years to maturity and mv will be your maturity value. So the equations we have already done in the previous lecture or you can say we can apply the ordinary annuity formula. This is my ordinary annuity formula and this is your present value formula. This was your present value formula. The details of these formulas we have already discussed in the previous lecture. Since i is 0, so anything multiplied by 0 will be 0. So that means we are going to get the answer over here will be 0 plus your redemption value. So it will be your answer will be RV upon 1 plus KD raised to power N. So in case of 0 coupon bond our formula becomes redemption value or you can say maturity value divided by 1 plus KD raised to power N. Now let's understand with the help of an example. Over here it says that the 10 years 0 coupon bond whose face value is 1000 prevailing market rate of interest is 8%. We have also discussed in the previous video that if the coupon rate is less than the market rate of interest 
then the value of the bond should be less than face value. So in this case, your coupon rate is 0% and market rate is 8%. That means coupon rate is less than market rate. So the value of the bond should be less than 1000. So let's see. Interest at the end of year 1 is 0. At the end of year 2 is 0. Till 10 year you are not going to get interest. You are only getting rupees 1000 at the end of 10th year. So let's convert it into present value. So if we are going to use the formula 0 multiplied by this it will be 0. So we have we can write it like this. Your maturity value is 1000 upon 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to power 10. Now let's solve it. So if we are going to use our calculator, this amount will be 0. And over here we can write it as 1000 multiply by 100 and 100 upon 108 raised to power 10. So let's solve it. It will be 100 divided by 108. We get, we get 0 0.925 and power is 10. So what we have to do, we have to press equals to 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our present value factor at 8% market rate of interest will be 0 0.463. We have to multiply this by 1000. So value of the bond is 463.19 rupees. So you are getting 463.19 or you can say round it off 463.20. That means the value of the bond is less than 1000. Hence we have proved that if the coupon rate is less than your market rate of return, the value of bond will be less than the face value. So as we have also discussed in the previous lecture, the important tips, the first tip, if coupon rate is more than rate of return, value of bond or debenture will be more than face value. We have proved it in the previous video. If the coupon rate is less than rate of return, value of bond or debenture will be less than the face value. We have already discussed this. Since in our example, coupon rate is 0% and rate of return was 8%. So our answer is coming out to be less than 1000 rupees and lastly if the coupon rate is same as your rate of return so value of bond or debenture will be same as your face value for further reference or for more numericals you can refer the book financial management thank you